This is Doofy McFire Scotch, and we have gone back to Steve Martin because I have watched one of the three movies that are left blank on here. Didn't watch Parenthood, and didn't watch House Sitter, so that means I watched Bowfinger. So we're going to cross that out right now to signify that I have watched it. I watched it yesterday. So now I am going to do a review on Bowfinger. Well, it's not so much about bows and arrows or uh, fingers. That's actually just the, the last name of Steve Martin's character, as you can see, Bobby Bowfinger. So, basically what it's about is Bobby Bowfinger is a struggling uh, film producer or whatnot, and he's just gotten this one screenplay that he thinks is really good and uh... he set up a few things to get the ball rolling and uh... robert downey jr jr nope that's not right junior is what i meant meant robert downey jr is a famous agent in this uh, movie and uh, Steve Martin briefly talks with him not in a, in a real meeting kind of more like uh, randomly bumping into them and he sort of thinks he's struck a deal with them even though Robert Downey Jr. sees through it all and uh, he later on Bobby Bowfinger tries to sign up a deal with Eddie Murphy who is playing a A-lister actor in this movie and he Bobby Bowfinger tries to get him in the movie and it doesn't work so he has to go back to his crew of uh, low-budget actors and tell them the bad news but he just can't do it and he lies and he says it all worked out so then he struggles to come up with an idea of how they can pull this off so his whole idea is that he's gonna still make a movie with Eddie Murphy however Eddie Murphy is not going to be, in, be informed that he's actually in the movie. So they're going to film scenes with him, with his actors, believing that Eddie Murphy knows about the movie, but he really doesn't. So it creates a funny situation. And it's a little bit of a shame that I didn't watch this earlier, because it's actually a good movie. And I assume that these other two movies that I haven't watched of Steve Martin's will be pretty darn good, too, whenever I get to them. But, yeah, and of course Eddie Murphy has a look-alike brother who is a stand-in. And there's a lot of funny stuff that goes on in here, but basically, it's a pretty decent movie. You'll uh, laugh a few times, it's got some good jokes, and of course, I've been over the subject of Eddie Murphy and how he sucks now, but he did not suck when he made Bowfinger. It was still in his heyday, so you will see the good Eddie Murphy in this one. But I say it's a good movie, and if you haven't seen it like I haven't until now, you should watch it because it's a pretty good movie. Anyway, that's all, folks. I'll catch you next time.